The 2020 estimates of revenue and expenditure provide for total expenditure, including principal repayments on public debt, of one billion, one hundred and forty-six million, ten thousand seven hundred and five dollars. And Mr. Speaker, I say a real billion. The budget is summarized as follows: one recurrent revenue, seventy-six point two million. Recurrent expenditure, $633.7 million. Current account surplus, $152.5 million. Capital expenditure of $225.3 million. Primary surplus after grants, $212.8 million. And an overall surplus after grants, $145.8 million. The principal repayment and amortization $287 million. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell, who is also the Minister for Finance, says the 2020 budget of revenue and expenditure provides something for everyone. All business development avenues to facilitate a growing group of self-employed persons who can add significant stimulus to the local economy. Six, opportunities in the agricultural sector for the farmer needing assistance and those engaged with private sector through vital linkages that marry the two industries. Seventh, the intervention in the health sector which are geared towards ensuring universal health coverage. Eighth, the intended relief to the unestablished public officers who have given yeoman service to this beautiful country. Mr. Speaker, without a doubt, the 2020 budget provides something for everyone. The government, this government is all embracing. We are committed to ensuring that no man, woman or child is left behind. Several years ago. The Prime Minister said that in 2020, the focus will be on leadership training and professional development programs for principals, deputy principals and administrators. Prospective teachers will also benefit from pre-service training. His vision for Grenada's youth brings back the promises of introducing tablets within the school system. Government will also pilot an e-book platform initiative in some secondary schools as part of a new technological approach to learning. Anchored on this improved digital platform, this initiative will be a precursor to the wide-scale provision of tablets. Now we're ready for tablets for students throughout the length and breadth of this country. The new Imani program, considered the cornerstone of government's youth empowerment initiatives, will receive $4.4 million less than was budgeted for in 2019. The theme for the 2020 budget presentation was Towards Vision 2035, empowering our communities, growing our economy, protecting our environment, strengthening our institutions. Sherry Blackman-Stephen, GBN News.